We're here with a whole bunch of people, and you guys are here to talk about Elder Abuse Awareness Month. So please, uh, introduce yourselves, starting with Janice. I'm Janice Hines with Adult Protective Services. Renee Libre Shanks with Missoula Aging Services. And I'm Detective Glenville Keaty with Missoula County Sheriff's Office. Awesome. Right. And so uh, we know that Missoula Aging Services has a wonderful mission. Will you please tell us about it? Yes. We promote the independence, dignity, and health of older adults and those who care for them. And SMP, which is the program that is helping facilitate these, this event that we're putting on, actually empowers people to prevent health care fraud, waste, and abuse, which can have financial and health uh, implications. So we're we're on the broader spectrum looking at financial elder abuse and exploitation. Awesome. Great. And so uh, what can you tell us about Elder Abuse Awareness Month? What's going on this month? Well, I'll just interject that we are holding an event at the Doubletree okay. uh, Edgewater and it'll be on June 15th from 9.30 to 11.30. The public is welcome. We're going to have free refreshments, a free film screening, fleeced, and we'll have a home shredder raffle as well. And we want to get people talking about the elder abuse problem that we're having in Missoula County as well as nationally and what we can do about it. Yeah. yeah. What is uh, some of the uh, elder abuse problems that are in our community? Well, um, Adult Protective Services investigates abuse, neglect, and exploitation of the elderly and adult disabled. So we have all of those kinds of problems mixed in together. Mm -hmm. But with this focus this month on financial abuse, um, we are definitely more aware of that at this time of year. And do you think that financial abuse is more prevalent than like neglect or any other kind of abuse? Um, I believe self-neglect is our most prevalent mm -hmm. uh, report, but financial abuse is second. Oh. It's um, a lot of family members, caregivers, um, taking advantage of the elderly folks who have money and may not have the wherewithal to protect their own money. Right. Yeah. And what are the um, some of the things put into place to help prevent this from happening? Um, we have uh, staff available to investigate reports and um, we have a website aps.mt.gov where anyone can go on and report if you are seeing uh, abuse, neglect, or exploitation of an elder or an adult disabled. Great. And so what does the Montana Sheriff's Office uh, have to do with uh, Elder Abuse Awareness Month? We, we have, uh, we, we investigate quite a few cases of oh, this. Do you? Um, we have several cases going on. Um, um, folks who have read the paper may have heard about the elderly gentleman up in Bearmouth area who um, was, he fell victim to a classic um, lottery scam. Oh, no. Um, where essentially people call up saying, oh, you've won a big prize, send us this much money for fees. And then that, that, those calls never end. Oh, we need this much to clear the fees. We need this much. And this gentleman ended up getting fleeced out of his entire life savings. Wow. Um, we have had similar cases involving IRS scams where somebody will call up claiming to be a representative of the IRS. Um, you owe back taxes. We have a warrant for your arrest. Uh, deposit this money in this account, otherwise we'll come and arrest you. Mm -hmm. People are scared of law enforcement. They don't understand that we're never going to show up at your door and arrest you for something like that. We're certainly never going to call you and ask you to deposit money in an account to clear a debt. And so the easiest way to avoid that sort of thing is if you get a call from someone claiming to be from law enforcement, claiming to be from a lottery, politely thank them, hang up the phone, look up the number yourself either online or in the phone book, and call back to see if it's a legitimate organization, legitimate law enforcement agency, or if it's a scam. Mm -hmm. I definitely had someone call me one time and scam me, and then I called the number back and it was a Bozeman Cops, and it was like an answering machine, and I was like, okay, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, uh, one of the scams that I, I constantly hear from a lot of different things is that uh, a lot of um, people call the elderly saying that, oh, your grandson or your mm -hmm. child has been arrested please send money, that kind of thing. I, I have actually run into that scam where a fellow received a call from someone claiming to be his grandson, saying he was in jail in Mexico, uh, please wire money by, via Western Union to the following number, and this gentleman was, was, you don't sound like my grandson, oh I have a cold grandpa. And it took a while for this gentleman to figure out that, wait a second, this isn't really my grandson. Um, again, Simple ways to avoid that. 
what was the name of your first puppy? Mm -hmm. Something that this person isn't going to know if they're if they're pulling a scam. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, and there's a lot of uh, elderly who are who like even if they do can recognize a scam. A lot of times um, with a lot of uh, you know Alzheimer's and dementias, a lot of times they forget it, and a lot of times these uh, scam artists call them over and over again because they know that they have this issue as well. So what can um, we do as a community to help some of our elders? The, this is what events like this are for, is to, to uh, a, lot of, a lot of people are very trusting, mm -hmm. especially elderly people are trusting, they come from a different, different generation, and they're m much more trusting, much more reluctant to hang up the phone or to tell someone no. Mm -hmm. And so um, we want to make sure that through programs like this, through uh, um, the uh, consumer fraud organizations, a simple way to check is www.fraud.org and it lists the, the kind of scams that are out there. We want to make elderly people, it makes everybody aware of that these kind of, these kind of scams exist, that there are people out there who will sound friendly on the phone, but they are not your friend. And to become aware of these things, we, we're never going to be able to prevent all of it, but the more awareness people have of the kind of scams out there, mm -hmm. the less of this kind of financial fraud, this kind of financial scamming will go on. And so do you guys know how these scam artists get the phone numbers of people? There's, in this modern age of the internet, yeah. that information is available. You can, there are, there are huge millions of dollars involved in marketing mm -hmm. lists of names. Anytime you fill out a survey online, that information is, is sold over the internet. That's the so other, scary. the other way is, is, is simply, Calling up, mm -hmm. saying, "Oh, we're uh, we're we're confirming we're from your credit card company. Mm -hmm. We need to confirm your the you know this purchase you made. What's your phone number? What's your address? What's your social security number?" And if someone believes, "Oh, this is my well, it says right there on my caller ID, this right. is my credit card company." Usually, and, usually all it really takes is your name and when were you born. Yeah. yeah. And all the rest of the information they can find out and. It, essentially, the, the, the rule of thumb is, if you wouldn't walk up to this person and hand them your credit card and driver's license on the street, don't give it to them over the phone. Right. <laughs> so. Yep. Thanks. So, um, where can people find more information about the Missoula Agent Services and all these other organizations that help prevent any elder abuse as well? Well, we'd like to direct them to our website, Missoula Aging Services. Dot org and also the event at the Double Trees on Eventbrite. Uh, we were on Facebook, um, and all of our partners that are linked in will be linked in through those sources. Awesome. So when is the when and where is the event? It's June fifteenth, nine thirty a.m. till eleven thirty a.m. at the Double Tree, and people can register ahead of time on Eventbrite and go to our website and or call us at seven two eight seven six eight seven. All right. Well, Thank thanks you so for much. joining us, guys. Thank um, you.